Good morning. Today is Friday, and we've been putting in the work this week. I am so proud of each of you for courageously concentrating every day on each of your assignments. We are going to end this week on a fantastic note. Let's get started with the morning announcements. elementary students and staff please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and your principle. So it's here. This is for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat information. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choice choices. I am excited about my new learning. I will, I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. You may be seated for a moment of silence. Please pause for a moment on silent, please. Now, scholars, if you are new to the hill, I just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year, we have just because treat days. So you must always follow our three school wide rules, which are to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn because you never know if this day is a treat day. Bobcat Scholars, I hope that you enjoyed Field Day, Fun Day, and Candyland, the remix. It wasn't like any other Field Day, Fun Day, or Candyland that we have ever had, but we were able to shift thanks to Coach B and Miss Hughes so that we can have the best day ever. Special shout out to Ms. Wheeler who went out in the rain to get us everything we needed so that you could have those nachos in the afternoon. Awesome job. Thank you teachers for pivoting and being flexible so that we could make sure that every grade level had time to have fun throughout the day. Scholars, have you ever met an Olympic medalist? Well, here's your chance. We have been invited to join the 34th Annual Rochelle Stevens Invitational Track Meet. This track meet will take place on May the 25th at 8 a.m. That is the day after school lets out this school year. To join this track meet, it only costs $15. Now, teachers, I know you have some students in your room that run every chance they get. 
be sure to let their parents know that they could win some medals and get those medals from an Olympic champion. Take a look at some of the past events. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there, and they say yeah. I won't stop now. Whoa. Keep your hands up, get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making them. My folks locked down. Whoa. I never went nowhere. No. What they say in loot is back. Yeah. Blame it on that conjure. The hood call it loot a yak. Oh. And I'm on this foolish track. So I spit my foolish flow. Whoa. My hands go. Now, scholars, to register, I have placed a link at the top of the description box for today's morning announcements. So tell your parents to go to the YouTube page and when they click on the link, they'll be able to register you. I can't wait to see which of our scholars win these gold, silver, and bronze medals. We don't have any birthdays today, but tomorrow, maybe we'll have a birthday or two. See you soon. Today's classroom spotlight goes to our grade K scholars. These scholars were caught being respectful, responsible, and courageously concentrating as they worked on their fire safety floor plans. Keep up the great work. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to get this up today. We have been doing multiplications, but today we must be ready. Today, we are going to do the addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now, the attention. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready?
21 minus 7. 14. Now, I hope you didn't get fooled and you remembered that when you borrow 10 from the uh, from the 2, that you made sure that you remembered that there was still 10 left over. 11 times 5. 55. Give your neighbor a high five if you remembered what we have been studying about. Anytime you multiply a number times 1. Remember that the answer is that number. No matter how big the number is, the answer is that number. 70 times 0. 0. I know you got that one correct because we have been talking about all week how any number that is multiplied times 0 is 0. I hope you didn't allow Miss White to trick you on this problem. Yesterday would not have been possible without our students in the spotlight those students who served as office helpers and we had a couple more that were moving so fast that we did not get them on film on yesterday but on yesterday we had some amazing office helpers who helped us to set up for field day they went over to the other building and helped to bring over all of the equipment for field day and also helped us to bring out all of the candy that we were hiding in the building for you to have the best candy land that we have had to date. Thank you for always being willing to lend a helping hand. In our national holidays, today is National Caterers Appreciation Day. So today we're giving a special shout out to our very own pre-K assistant, Mrs. Moore. Did you know that she was a caterer? She makes some amazing meals. Our second national holiday is that today is National Scavenger Hunt Day. Now, a scavenger hunt is when you have a list of items that you are looking for or when you are solving a series of clues to win a game. Today's challenge is, could you create a scavenger hunt for another class in the building another grade level in the building and take it and challenge them to find your items. Teachers, if your class participates in this challenge for the day, please send us a few pictures and we'll spotlight those classes on the first day of our next school year. Today's read aloud is entitled, The Last Day of School. Can you believe it, scholars? We have made it to the last day of this school year. I know you are excited about summer break. Trust me, your teachers and I are excited too. Before you listen to today's story, I want you to think about this question. What are you hoping to do over the summer break? Now, hopefully your teachers will give you the opportunity to draw or write about what you're hoping to do over this break. Today's read aloud is 15 minutes and 36 seconds long. In addition to our read aloud, we have our national holiday bonus as Monday is Memorial Day, scholars. So you have a short video 
talking to you about the history of this holiday and why we celebrate it. We also have our Count This in 100 video for our pre-K and K scholars. We have our sight word exercise video for our scholars in grades 1 and 2. And for our scholars in grades 3, 4, and 5, we have our fraction flow vocabulary video. In addition to these things, we have our last content connection for this school year. Our scholars in pre-K, grade K, grade 1, and grade 2 will be watching the Magic School Bus in the city. And our scholars in grades 3, 4, and 5 will watch their last social studies video for this Liberty Kids series, our social studies connection. Today we are on episode 120. It is entitled An American in Paris. Who is going to Paris? I guess we'll find out in two Today's content connection and of course we have our summer brain breaks for you for today and uh, our movies to end this school year scholars you have worked so hard and I couldn't be prouder of each of you have a fantastic summer and I'll be around to get my last set of hugs in a few minutes see you soon remember every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves achieving our goals and reimagining our future